The following podcast is brought to you by the Jonas Podcasting Network, found exclusively at wrestlingwithjonas.com. All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Acquired Tastes, the show where we try the new weird odd foods. So you don't have to. So you can listen to us. Well, it's just me here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, my partner in crime, Jay, uh, he's out tonight. A uh, little family emergency last minute. Uh, that's all right. Well wishes to you, sir. Um, so it'll be just me tonight. Luckily, I do have two things tonight. Uh, first, we got making its third appearance between the two seasons on Acquired Taste is Pop-Tarts. I have these Lemon Cream Pie Pop-Tarts. Now, I was actually looking for the Ego Pop-Tarts. I've seen them before. Either they're out or they're gone already. But that would have been really interesting to try. Instead, we got those. I got one that warmed up and one cold. I actually haven't had a heated Pop-Tart in quite a few years. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, the other thing, which will be our main event, you may have seen this advertised on Facebook, TikTok, wherever last week. The Ritz and Oreo combo. I was all about trying to get these for me and Jay. Um, unfortunately, they only put out a thousand boxes, which I'm sure went to many influencers. Uh, that happened on last week. I don't know if anybody's gotten it. I haven't seen any trying videos, um, but... Look at that. I made my own version because I couldn't get a box. Uh, like I said, they only made a thousand and uh, when I loaded the site right at the sale time, they the site went down, conveniently crashed, and I couldn't get back on until 12.04 and all sold out. You can go on eBay and get yourself one of the so-called promised ones. Um, they're going for two, three, four hundred dollars. I did see one at a low price of $80. I made these for $10. Oreos are about $3.350 at Walmart. Uh, the Ritz crackers are another $2 or $3, depending on what size you get. And peanut butter is another $2 or $3, depending on what you like. Um, I got a natural peanut butter. So it, it's not going to taste the same because they don't sell the Ritz sandwiches the same size as the Oreo. Um... But then again, like I said, I made my own. It's going to be pretty much the same. You know, when you tell people about these who might not follow the food trends online, it's like, ew. Hmm, wait, maybe it's not so bad. Um, I picture the Ritz and Oreo going okay together. A little sweet and salty. The peanut butter and Oreo will go good together. The Oreo cream and peanut butter. And that's where the mystery lies. Uh... You're not here to listen to me talk, though. Let's get to the tasting. Um, first up, while it's still warm, this is what the lemon cream pie pop tart looks like. Frosting looks a little sloppy and a little light handed. Um, let's give it a try here. It's not bad. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It tastes pretty good warmed up. Um, you can see a little pull there. I'll try again here. While it's warmed up, you can kind of see the little bit of lemon pull. Um, it's not bad. It's not sweet like I thought it was going to be. It tastes like, you know, the little dollar fruit pies, maybe they're dollar fifty now. I think you might have like the really sugary icing on top. It's got a little lemon filling. That's what this tastes like, but a lot less of it in the Pop Tart. And warmed up, it's actually pretty good. So now we'll pull the cold one out. Again, frosting's a little light. You can see, just kind of probably sloppily put on there. Um, you can see, looks like graham cracker crumbs on it. Let me see if it tells you. 
Yeah, not really. Although this is interesting, I'm just noticing on here. Four ways to enjoy Pop-Tarts. Toasted, um, straight from the foil. We've all done those. Um, ooh, wrong way. Stacked. Never really tried two flavors together. Could be interesting. But then there's this one, Frozen. I have never heard of anybody eating a Frozen Pop-Tart. I am intrigued. I will freeze a pack and try them tomorrow. But let's get to this. Breaks apart instantly. There's no pull whatsoever from the lemon filling. Hmm. For some reason, it tastes sweeter. Um, not heated up. But it's good. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably giving these a good solid 8. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this flavor again after I'm done with this box. I don't really buy Pop-Tarts unless it's for like one of these videos. But this isn't bad at all. I'd recommend it. Okay. Now. I'm just going to chew in. The Oreo, the Ritz cracker, the peanut butter, the cream filling from the Oreo. I'm not expecting anything super, oh my god, this is the greatest thing since peanut butter and chocolate together as a peanut butter cup. But this shouldn't be too bad. You can kind of see here the, the little pull apart. I got the cream, you know, the Oreo, the half Oreo. Um, so let's give this a shot. The peanut butter I got, just natural peanut butter, really overpowers everything. I don't know if I put a lot on that one. But the peanut, go, peanut, peanut butter goes really well with the chocolate Oreo. They bring out the best of each other. Um, the saltiness from the Oreo, or excuse me, the saltiness from the Ritz cracker, really adds another element to it. I didn't get much of the Oreo cream. Let me see. This one's a little less on the peanut butter. Let me try this one. The Oreo cream doesn't really interfere with anything, at least from what I can tell. Maybe it makes the peanut butter a little bit more creamier. Um, this is pretty good. It would take a little time and effort you know, to put a plate of these together, you know, for a little for a small gathering. But it's pretty good. You know what? I'm giving this a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, really high, that high. These are really good. Um, I'm probably gonna do some more with the packs that I got downstairs, the Oreos and Ritz crackers, some peanut butter. Really recommend, really good. Um, so our next adventure here. Is going to be in two weeks. Um, today is the second. I think it's going to be June sixteenth. Um, Jay will be back. Maybe we'll have a guest host or a guest with us uh, for a theme. We're going to do TikTok. Maybe try it. So weird from things we've seen on TikTok. Yeah, we're going to bring it to life for you here on Facebook and on Twitch. Um, don't get to join us here for all things else on Buggle Entertainment. Um, of course, if you haven't seen, um, June is Pride Month. we got some Pride merch in our store at shopbucklebomb.com. Um, the Trans Proud shirt, um, the LGBT Proud. Uh, we do have one for Ally. We've also got it in pocket size form, all three. Proceeds from the shirt sales go to the It Gets Better project. 
uh, helping LGBTQ youth around the world. Um, this has been Acquired Taste, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.